Om Shanti, welcome you here with 31st of August Godly Blessing. How to do our karmas while being detached or while being unlocked and that's what we're going to learn in today's blessing. Supreme Father says, may you be a constantly powerful soul and perform unlocked actions with the awareness of your unlocked form. Our unlocked form is point of light divine being and this physical body is logic. So God says, be detached with this kind of feeling that I am different from this body, I am not this body, I am not the owner of this body. It is there for a temporary period of time. So I am not the final owner. It is going to go back to the five elements. They are the original owners of this body. So God says, a Brahmin life means an alokic and invaluable diamond life. By having the awareness of this alokic life and by remaining stable in your alokic form, you cannot have ordinary activity or perform ordinary actions. In Kali Yuk, ordinary actions would be like my and mine. Getting involved into the fight of what is mine, what is not mine. And having ego or jealousy or hatred towards it. Then God says, <coughs> whatever actions you perform will be alokic because as is your awareness, so is your stage. So if I'm thinking that this body is not mine, it's temporary, and everything which I see which is physical in this world, which is made out of just the similar five elements as the body, they're also not mine, I'll be using them and I'll not be attached to them. That means my self-respect, my value, my post, my position doesn't matter and doesn't have anything to do with the five elemental things which I've gathered in this life, or the certificates, or the accomplishments which I've gathered, or the medals which I've received, they are not me. So that's what God says, then you become a locket. That means you'll be humble, you'll be not impatient, you'll be peaceful, you'll be relaxed. Whatever actions you perform will be a locket because as is your awareness, so is your stage. <clears throat> Let there constantly be one father and none other in your awareness. That means only one father is the one from whom I expect and I desire love, peace, happiness, joy, bliss and power. I would aspire for all those things from these five elemental things or worldly things. Having the awareness of the Father will make you constantly powerful. And this is why every action has to be elevated and alokic. Having the awareness of the Father will make you constantly powerful. We will feel powerful from within. Having the awareness that yes, He is there, He is looking for me and I am there, I am looking for Him. So God says, just me and nobody else and that's the only method to be away from pain and suffering in this or in this world which is Kali Yuga and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumari is how to detach ourselves from the worldly things and how to attach ourselves from God even while doing every karma it doesn't mean that you take sannyas and you leave your job or you leave your business or you leave family you stay you do everything but still as a detached person as a detached soul to learn more to visit the Brahma Kumari center Om Shanti Vibhis